something like that in Code 19, uh, you buy in US about 600 or 700 US, I'm not sure yet. Uh, but in here, it's more than seven, uh, 70,000 Thai bar. So it's more expensive. So, uh, and also the bullet is very expensive. Okay, in here we uh, the government not allow recycle use the bullet. Yeah, the only sometimes only they use it for for the army training because army training always suit the time or exercise or go to the field or exercise or suit the bullet the waste a lot. So they will use a, a recycle one. But uh, in in uh, in the public market you can use the recycle one. Yeah. What is um. What's the what are what are some of the difficulties of running a shooting range and being a gun owner in Thailand? Uh, most likely now in whatever Thailand base uh, the place in or Phuket or you heard about some tourist place Phuket Island or Batie or Bangkok or Chiang Mai uh, some of the range providing those kind of weapon for the tourists are having fun for shooting. But actually, uh, in Bangkok, not really popular, uh, uh, easy to find a range. The, actually, the, all the range is uh, run by the government, police, or run by the military. So, uh, some, some place is open for public. Okay, the tourists can come in, pay the money, can get a few bullets, and get a gun to try to shoot, have fun. Uh, they don't provide you training. Okay, it's just really just a tool for business. Okay, and they earn some you know money, extra money. <laughs> That's it. So um, the private sectors are not really much. You can easy to find uh, some place uh, like Chiang Mai. Chiang Mai now we got six range something, but f six range uh, among them we we got four free range is our group run by our group. And three free range. One is for by the government. One uh, is by the army. <laughs> and and also one is this. So not many easy to open a range like us. Uh, of course, we have some good relationship, and also you need uh, really strict how to uh, running your the management. The most important the management. 